His story is one of survival and overcoming impossible odds. And even though Greg Garfield spent two months in the hospital when he was released, that is when his story really began. I'm doing fantastic. However, my hands are never going to be the same. I don't have fingers anymore. Um, this can happen to you. We first introduced you to 54 year old Greg Garfield in May when he was finally released from Burbank's Providence St. Joseph's after 64 days. Medically speaking, I should not be here. His percentage of survival was 1%. The coronavirus survivor and patient zero fell sick after an Italian ski trip. He was on a ventilator for a month, his girlfriend AJ and sister always nearby. We would gauge the success of his health and the little victories by knowing that the vent settings came down and he was breathing a little bit more for himself. From MRSA to sepsis to kidney failure to liver failure, I turned around uh, with 100% capacity on everything from my kidneys, my liver, my cognitive. I mean, I'm here today just to stand tall. The only challenge that I have physically is amputations of my fingers. Greg's surgeon, Dr. David Allen Kulber of Cedars, explains in part why Greg lost all his fingers on the right hand and most on the left. COVID um, has um, effects on the endovascular bloodstream, so um, it actually affects the blood flow. That's why some young people have had strokes, and that's why anticoagulation, putting patients on blood thinners, now has been the standard care for COVID patients. Dr. Kolber says the process of reconstructing Greg's fingers will involve at least six operations. And on his right hand, we're going to have to create new fingers and ultimately create fingers enough that he could put on prosthetics on the very end to have like a bionic hand. Greg and AJ say through all of this, they've learned most about faith. If I wasn't a believer before, I am absolutely now. And you're going skiing this winter. Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming coronavirus allows us to. That's exactly right. If That's they're opening, the if they're open, we're if there. If they're open, we're going to be there. Greg's hospital stay cost around two million dollars. Thankfully, much of that was covered by insurance. But moving forward, his prosthetics will not be covered. If you're interested in donating to his GoFundMe, you can visit our webpage ktla.com. I'm Christina Pascucci, reporting from Valley Village for KTLA Five News.